So what's in your EDC bag right this very moment? Stick around, guys. Hey, hey, YouTube. Welcome back to Urban Outdoors. Hey, I'm Urban. You knew that, didn't you? Today's guys, I'm smoking this little Meerschaum pipe. I know it's not Meerschaum Monday. Or is it? No, today's Tuesday. But, uh, I just felt like smoking it. It's a cool little pipe. It's kind of tiny. You can see how it's the size of my hand. But, uh, I overpacked it. But anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about what is in my EDC bag right this very minute. Now, this is not going to be a review of my uh, Zuko Everyday Carry Bag. I've already done that. So if you want to see that video, I'll put a card to it right up here somewhere. And you can go check out that video where I review the bag. But this morning I want to talk about what's in the bag. We'll go through the items that I keep in my everyday, everyday carry bag. Now, it varies from time to time, depending on where I might be going and what I might be doing when I get there. Sometimes I'll change out items. Sometimes I'll just take out items that I don't think I'll need. This is not a get home bag or a survival bag although there are items in here that could serve that purpose this is just a bag that I carry stuff in that I may need oh inside of the pipe I am smoking some Savinelli Brunello fake flake flake not fake it's real okay so here's the bag again this is, this is the Azuko and what I'm gonna do I'll start on this side zipper here and uh, just unzip that and I'll reach in there and I have a cable for charging my phone. If I need to charge my phone, I can just turn the bag over, plug this in here, and then hook this end into my phone. So that stays in the side pocket. Also, I have um, my meds crusher, and I have some pain pills in there and this is not just a pill holder but it is a pill crusher because I have to crush my pills I can't swallow them whole and then in there I also have some little cups to put the pill in to add water to drink and that's it for that little pocket right there it's, it's deep but that's all I've got in there. On the very back, you'll see this little pocket. I usually keep it zipped like that. And I've just got my uh, Coast G19 flashlight. Since I have my Night Eyes flashlight on my key ring, I stopped carrying this... Uh, Coast G19 in the pocket. 
Alright, I'm just going to grab things. Uh, the first thing I've got in here right now is my Legendary Saxon tobacco kit. And in it, it has a pipe, some tobacco, a tamper, and a lighter. So if you guys want to scroll back through my videos and look at my Legendary Saxon pouch, uh, you can do that. The next thing I have is this little Max Maxpedition kit right here. And inside this kit, I have a number of different things that I may need at any time. Uh, right off the bat, I have an extra speaking valve uh, in case something happens to the one I have. I also keep an extra inner cannula for my trach. I keep in the back a little cloth, some band-aids, right here I have some reading glasses that fold out, I have a uh, Tombow pen that goes with my, over here, on this side, right in the rain, this is a pressurized pen. I've also done a video on both of these items. You can go check that out if you want to. But this pen works well with the Ride in the Rain. So it writes in the rain on the Ride in Rain tablet. And of course, you know, I always have a damn Bic lighter with some duct tape which could be used as duct tape or tinder if I need to get a fire started. Also I have speaking of fire starting and lip balm I have some Burt Burt's Bees lip balm that I keep in here. I also have a Victorinox Pioneer Olox, and you can see it's got my name inscribed on it. And guess what? I've also done a video on this. You can go check it out. The flashlight that I have in here is just this one right here. It's just a single on-off, very bright. And I got this at Home Depot. I don't know what brand it is. Doesn't really say. But that's the flashlight that I keep in there. And it's very bright. And then also in this bag, I have just some safety pins. They're good for a lot of different things. <laughs> But I really like this Maxpedition pouch. It's small, but like I say, as you can see, it holds quite a few items that could come in handy in any number of situations. Alright, next in the bag. I have, of course, a flask. And in it, I have some bourbon. You never know when you need bourbon. Uh, let's see, reaching on, I've got this bag here, which is kind of a long, narrow bag, and it's just a little, I've got in there medications and first aid items, I've got some Advil, I've got some Neosporin, I've got some New Skin, in case there's a cut. I've got uh, oh, another thing of chapstick. That's overkill, I guess. I have some bare back and body pain relief. I have some Hall's defense because my throat uh, gets sore a lot. So I have some of those throat lozenges. 
I have some Alka Seltzer um, Cold and Pain Relief. I have some Visine for the eyes. I have a Israeli bandage in case there is a need for a compression bandage. And then I have a bag of miscellaneous gauze, tape, and more band-aids. And that's all that's in that little first aid kit. It's important to always have first aid on you. Uh, going down next, I've got some, just some Huggies wipes, wet wipes. I uh, have an extra pair of reading glasses. I have a regular writing pen and a Sharpie writing pen. There are two little pen holders in there. I have my battery charger connected to charge my phone like I showed you earlier. And I have a, another one of those little Redicus AM FM weather band radios. I've done a video on this. I keep one beside my bed and I have this one in my EDC bag. So again if you want to see the review on this cool little weather band AM FM radio scroll through and check out the video on that and let's see what else then I have what I call my EDRA fix it kit my everyday readily available fix it kit and this is just a Condor bag Got a little Punisher patch on there. Opening it up. This is for fixing stuff. Or if you're not from the South, it's for repairing stuff. Down here we say fixing. And I've got some electrical tape. I have, I'm just going to grab things at random a screwdriver which has all types of different sockets and different types of screw bits hexes, flathead, phillips head just fit in the handle and they all fit in there so screwdriver I have another sharpie pin I have a pair of scissors, a, oh, this is three things in one. I've got some more safety pins, I've got some zip ties, and I have some rubber bands all together there. I also have a set of Allen wrenches. From very small to large. I have another right in the rain notebook and I have found that the Sharpie pen does well with that. I have some rim oil which can also be used for any other type of lubrication not only guns. I have some super glue. I also have, as you could guess, another damn big lighter with more duct tape. Do you think I like big lighters, guys? Uh, I also have a backup flashlight. Just one of those little cheap little dollar store. But it puts off good light. Then I have a multi-tool, and I'm not going to go over all the features of it. It's your typical multi-tool. I also have a, a small sewing kit 
with lots of needles and thread, a couple of buttons, and I already have the scissors. Then also I have just a little toothbrush that I sawed off just to have to do any cleaning or whatever you might need a little tiny brush for. And let's see, I think that's it, guys. Yeah. So all that should fix just about whatever I need to fix. And the bag is empty now. So, so there you go, guys. That's uh, my EDC bag right this moment, what I have in it. Like I say, contents vary depending on what I'm doing, where I'm going. And once again, I apologize, guys, for my voice. I cannot wait for this thing, for my voice to get better. It's Christmas week. I hope you guys are having a great time enjoying the festivities of Christmas. Last night, we watched Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger and his quest for Turbo Man. I think tonight, even though I've already seen it twice, I'm going to watch Chevy Chase, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's my all-time favorite. Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. But yeah, I'm enjoying things like fruitcake and eggnog. We filled up all the stockings the other day. I can't wait to see the grandkids opening up their gifts and the kids, even though they're grown. I enjoy watching people open their gifts more than I actually enjoy opening my own. There's just something special about this time of year. It's been a long time since we've had a white Christmas. As a matter of fact, the house that we live in now, we've lived here for five years. It hasn't snowed once in the five years we've lived here. Which is really a shame, because we're out in the country, it would be beautiful. So what do you guys want for Christmas? Or what have you asked Santa for? I just have my Amazon list, and when Mrs. Arabin asked, I just forwarded that list to her. And then I think she forwarded it to the children as well. So I'll probably know what I'm getting. But I tell you what, I am more of a gift-giving person as opposed to a gift card person. The only time I give a gift card is if it's a gift for like a couple. And it's usually to a restaurant so that they can go out and have a nice date night. Otherwise, I like to give a, th a, a gift that I pick out from a store or order off of Amazon or whatever that I think might be tailored specifically, specifically towards that person or maybe I've overheard them talking about an item. A couple of the things I've asked for is a range finder for golf. You could also use it for hunting or anything you need when you need to find the range of something. Well, in my survey that I put out, the majority of you guys, over 60%, want to see videos about guns and knives. About 20% of you 
want to see this, like an everyday vlog. And a small percentage of you wanted to see, what was the other item? I can't remember. A very small, 5% wanted to see golf. And I can't remember what the other category is. My highest viewed videos, or my highest viewed video is a deer hunting video. And I found that anytime you put the words deer hunting in a title, you're going to get thousands of clicks. Those people may never click again. But I do deer hunt. I've only done it twice this year. So uh, hunting is not something you're going to see regularly on my channel. But since people want to see more everyday type blogs, I'll do that. One thing I forgot to put in the survey was pipes. And I had a lot of people that wrote in or emailed me or Facebooked me and said, Arabin, we'd like to see more pipe videos. So I'm going to start doing more pipe videos. Although in a lot of my outdoor videos, like today, I'm smoking a pipe. And I usually feature the pipe that I'm smoking. Like this one here. Beautiful Meerschaum. You can see how it's changing color. It's not bright white. Like golf ball white like it was when it was brand new. But that's because... Two generations have smoked this pipe. But I'll do more pipe videos. I'm not a tobacco expert. I don't buy a lot of famous brand tobaccos because I like to support my local tobacco merchant. Basically all of my tobaccos are blends from that local tobacco merchant and I keep them over here in these little bins or these little um, mason jars this one is called Lord Cavendish Lord Cavendish and it's an English blend but I want to learn more. I'm going to start doing this. I love the seal that these things put. I want to learn more about Virginia Flakes and Burleys and all the different types of tobaccos. Because if you see that, you see there's more than just one type of tobacco. You've got brown, you've got black, got dark brown, they've got, what is it, Latakia, Virginia, Burley, similar to whiskey, there's a lot that goes into tobacco, and I'm going to start researching and learning more about the different tobaccos and where they come from, and I just right now don't have the knowledge but there's a lot of tobaccos out there, and I want to learn about them. And I am listening to y'all's feedback about what you want to see on my channel. And, and while I make these videos mainly for myself and my family, I want you guys to also enjoy the content on my channel. So... I'm listening to your feedback, and I'm going to start trying to do videos that I think you'll want to see. Anyway, it looks like this one's gone well over the average of 3 minutes and 31 seconds, which is usually the average amount of time people view my videos. I think we're probably getting, after editing, we'll probably be around 20-25 minutes. But if you're with me still, I do appreciate it. 
And I know I forget to say this a lot, but I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already done so, to please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like my video or any other videos that you watch, make sure to give me a thumbs up and also click that bell notification. That way not only will you get notified of my upcoming videos, but it'll let YouTube know that you're interested in my videos. So doing little things like liking and stuff like that, I really do appreciate that. It will help my channel to grow. And I've got a lot of big plans for video ideas and concepts for 2021. I'm really looking forward to 2021. I don't see how it can be any worse than 2020. Although, with the new presidency, it's hard to say. Well, now i got to go clean up my bags, put everything back together. So I'll let you go. I really do appreciate you coming along on Airbnb Outdoors. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep buffing.